About 900 miles west of Portugal sits a group of islands called the Azores. Elvino Souza was born on one of the small farming islands. Life was very simple, and education beyond primary years was not considered important. By the time Elvino's family immigrated to Canada in 1970, he'd already been out of school for four years. He was 13 years old when he enrolled in the grade seven new Canadian class. Elvino struggled to learn English and adjust to a new culture. In the evenings, he worked to help his parents with expenses. It wasn't easy, but by the time he reached high school, things started to change for Alvino. He discovered the wonderful world of science and mathematics. I, I got uh, interested in science uh, early on, especially uh, you know, when I uh, came to Canada and went to Central Tech in uh, grade nine. In my initial years in school, uh, my uh, Learning was uh, sort of, you know, in the old times based on um, memorization. And I was really excited uh, about uh, when I uh, came to Canada and it stressed the understanding, especially learning uh, science in, in grade nine, some of the ideas in, in physics. With his newfound passion for learning, Alvino went on to excel in high school and in university. In 1980, he received a BA in engineering science, and in 82, his master's in electrical engineering, both from the University of Toronto. Elvino was one of our uh, top undergraduate students uh, here, and uh, he stayed and did his master's degree in communications. Then he went to University of Southern California in Los Angeles, where he studied uh, packet radio, which involves the transmission of data information over radio. Um, and spread spectrum. After receiving his PhD in California, Alvino returned to the University of Toronto to join the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. In 1997, he was promoted to the rank of full professor. Since 1996, he's been chair of the Communications Group, a research and graduate study group in the areas of telecommunications and signal processing. In 2000, he received the Sony sabbatical chair and Dr. Souza, his wife Anna Marie, and their two children spent six months in Tokyo, where he did research at Sony Computer Science Labs. In 2001, he was awarded the Bell University Labs Endowed Chair in Computer Engineering. Uh, we are currently seeing the initial deployment of what, uh, what are called third generation uh, networks. Uh, we are thinking to uh, concepts way beyond that how these networks will be built, how radio spectrum will be uh, used, uh, you know, what conditions, what new technologies uh, will we use to be able to provide services with higher and higher uh, bit rates uh, that go way beyond the current wireless uh, services that we have today, which is mostly voice communication. Uh, in the area of wireless, he is internationally known he has contributed uh, research uh, of very large importance uh, to uh, the international community. And he is recognized as a pioneer in the area. And he has actually contributed uh, to the area that has implications for wireless communications, which is what we know as cellular telephony today. And we all benefit from this kind of research. Alvino's research group is constantly looking to the future as the area of communications continues to evolve and shape the way we live. Our goal is to work on new network architectures for the future that will bring these two technologies together in ways that make it much more flexible to deploy, much more readily available that will allow a lot more services to be provided at uh, higher uh, bit rates, okay, so that we can have video, for example, and at a, uh, you know, in, in a way that basically uh, can be done at a reasonable cost, so because we need to have more and more people uh, uh, using it, and, and I believe we will see, uh, see that in, uh, in, in, in the future. Dr. Souza has been a consultant to many companies in the wireless industry, the ITU, and has assisted governments in the evaluation of telecommunications research programs in Canada and abroad. 
His achievements have been recognized by the Federation of Portuguese Canadian Business and Professionals through their Professional of the Year Award. He participated in their scholarship program that recognizes the accomplishments of students of Portuguese descent in post-secondary education. In January 2003, he received Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's Golden Jubilee Medal for his contributions to Canada. For the last five years, Elvino has developed another passion, running. He gets together with a running group once a week. He's run in Toronto and Ottawa marathons and hopes to one day run a Boston Marathon.